It's time for wrestling, ladies and gentlemen, and we are set to go underway. I promised it to you last week. I'm Frank Dusick here at ringside. I promised you Tommy Seabolt against Mr. Wrestling Vince Torelli, and if Vince Torelli does not appear this week, I will personally suspend him forever. So you will get Vince Torelli against Tommy Seabolt today, and we are going to put it on first. Ladies and gentlemen, from Tampa, Florida, weighing 236 pounds, Tommy Seabolt! And of course, he'll be facing Mr. Wrestling Vince Torelli, the South Atlantic Heavyweight Champion. And you can bet your bottom dollar that that no good Tennessee stud Robert Fuller will be somewhere lurking about in the corners. He always is. And uh, judging from the music, I would say it's time for the new uh, for the South Atlantic Heavyweight Champion, uh, Mr. Wrestling Vince Torelli. This may be something of a game, though, for Torelli and Fuller waiting, making Tommy Seabolt wait in the ring. Uh, anything like this, you can always, you can never put anything past Robert Fuller. He is a master of the psychology of the sport. He knows the half, half Nelsons, he knows the hammer locks. He also knows the psychology of the sport. And that is a very, very important part. And now here he comes, your champion, Vince Torelli. Let me take a moment to announce it to the people here at Hemingway. His opponent in this match, from San Diego, California, also weighing 236 pounds, the South Atlantic Heavyweight Champion, Mr. Wrestling, Vince Torelli. Introductions out of the way. It is wrestling time here in Hemingway. The number one fundraiser, a great crowd again this week. Man, oh man, are we just proud to be a part of all this today. And there you see the belt. That's what's caused the problems. <laughs> A short cut to the title, the fans like it, but he's going to have to get it by, by beating Vince Torelli in the ring. And we are underway. Look at this. And finally, you see, you know, you don't see him because he's outside of your camera range, but the Tennessee stud Robert Fuller has come down to ringside. There he is. You catch a corner of him. I know you heard him long before you saw him. And these two, boy, former friends, you talk about bad blood piling up. It's piling up here as Torelli charges like a bad bull once, twice. The third time he's sent reeling back with a two-footed drop kick in the chest. Mr. Wrestling, Mr. Torelli, intent on just running over top of his opponent, his former partner, Tommy Sebo. All he got for his effort was a couple of arm drags at two feet in the chest. And Mr. Wrestling, Mr. Torelli, perhaps showing a little newfound uh, respect for the abilities of Tommy Sebo. Tommy Seymour, nip up right out of the arm, out of the head scissor, over with an arm drag, a second arm drag. And I'll tell you what, Mr. Wrestling, Ms. Torelli, not looking very Mr. Wrestling-ish right now, is he? As Torelli just reeling into the corner, piled into the corner, and look at the look on Tommy Seabolt. Robert, see if you can get a shot of Seabolt's face. Let the fans see what happened when they were last week when they were rubbing his face onto the mat. There it is. Look from the other side, of course we can't be very good. There's a nasty looking bruise or a, a, a scrape and a black uh, black eye. That was from the beating he took at the hands of his former partner. And you see it right there on his face. The beating he took at the hands of his former partner, Mr. Wrestling Vince Torelli. Torelli not only beat him, but he also rubbed that face onto this canvas mat. Anybody who's ever wrestled before, anybody who's ever gotten down on the living room rug and gotten that mat burn on your elbow, you know how bad that burns. Well, that's what's on the face right now of Tommy Siebel. Seabolt sits in. Look at here. Seabolt playing a little possum. Tommy Seabolt playing a little possum. And Mr. Wrestling Vince Torelli sent reeling a fourth time. And Mr. Wrestling Vince Torelli certainly not looking like the South Atlantic Heavyweight Champion right now. That is for sure. As I have the golden belt right here by me, the South Atlantic Heavyweight Championship belt. To this Tennessee stud, Tennessee stud Robert Fuller offering a little bit of, uh, of advice. I don't know what kind of advice you can add at this point other than just uh, quit letting the guy take advantage of you. Ah, there, you. I don't know if you could see it on the camera. I don't think you could. Robert Fuller pounding on the mat, and Byron Richards, who's had his share of problems with Robert Fuller, telling him, if you interfere in this match at all, I'll send you to the dressing room. Boom, and he lift. And Torelli just dumps himself out of the ring. Torelli looking for a shortcut, looking for an exit. I think he's looking for the dressing room door. Tommy Seabolt followed him around on the outside. Seabolt wanting more action. Seabolt cross body block. Torelli caught him, slammed him on the floor. We're in a gymnasium at a high school. He just slammed him on that floor. There's no mats around the ring in South Atlantic Pro Wrestling. You may see it at some of the showboat companies, but you sure don't see any mats here. As that's nothing more than just a wooden gymnasium floor. 
And Mr. Wrestling Vince Torelli now carrying the battle, showing that mean streak in him. We need to jump in and take a break. And gee whiz, I hate to do it right now. But we sure got to jump in and take a break. Let's do it right now while we got a break in the action, Robert. And we'll be back with more South Atlantic Pro Wrestling excitement. Torelli versus Seymour right up to this. Whoa, DDT, and that should spell the end as much as I hate to say it. That could be the end for Tommy Seabolt. Referee Byron Richards in position. One, two, but no! Gee whiz, two and a half that was. Tommy Seabolt just being abused right now by his former ally. And Seabolt definitely needs to get some offense going. He can't continue to take this kind of punishment. Seabolt in a world of trouble right now. Definitely needs a breather. And that's not the kind of breather I meant right there either. As you see, matter of fact, you can't even see Tommy Seabolt right now outside the ring. There he is. That boot you saw belonged to you know who. Yep, the Tennessee stud, Robert Fuller. Cheap shot artist extraordinaire. Doing just that, taking those cheap shots. Taking those cheap shots. And outside the ring, it's Vince Torelli now just carrying the battle to Tommy Seabolt. Torelli. His, uh, his, uh, his battle plan is simple. He's just going to attack, 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 attack. He's not going to take a backward step. Torelli is that kind of an athlete. I mean, he, uh, he is like a, uh, a, a soldier in that ring. He knows nothing other than attack. To the top, with a big splash, and Seabolt rolled out of the way. Seabolt, with presence of mind, is rolled out of the way, and the big splash coming down, nobody home. Boom, it's a knee lift, and down goes Vince Torelli. Tommy Seabolt starting to carry through the offense. Tommy Seabolt, a series of right hands to the forehead. Seabolt sending Torelli in for the ride. Torelli into the rope, Seabolt with a drop kick. And it's Tommy Seabolt now coming back on Mr. Wrestling, Vince Torelli. It's Tommy Seabolt coming back and coming back hard. Back drop, and down goes the South Atlantic heavyweight champion, crashing to the mat in unceremonious, unceremonious fashion. Mr. Wrestling, Vince Torelli, sent through the ropes, crashing to the floor, and I'm sure the Tennessee stud, Robert Fuller, now not at all pleased with the turn of events here, as his man, the South Atlantic heavyweight champion, down on the mat, and now it's Tommy Seabolt going to give to uh, Vince Torelli the lessons and the same treatment he got from Torelli. The only difference is he won't have Robert Fuller to help him. It's all Tommy Seabolt right now as he is taking the battle to Mr. Wrestling, Vince Torelli. Tommy Seabolt setting inside, abdominal stretch. Seabolt with the abdominal stretch right now, trying to add punishment and pain to the move. He'd love to be the South Atlantic heavyweight champion right now. You know he would. And a win over Mr. Wrestling Vince Torelli is all it would take. Seabolt, abdominal stretch, Fuller yelling trunks, 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 but there's no trunks involved in this. Oh no, referee Byron Richards down. Byron Richards was reached up and pulled into uh, Tommy Seabolt by Vince Torelli. What? What in the world? Now he's being pushed. I don't understand. All right, I, I understand this. For some reason, oh, referee Byron Richards is out. Both men have hit him. Both men have hit him. This leg is turning into a, a, a fight. There's no more wrestling here. This is going to be a fight. Referee Ronnie Hanna's into the ring. Ronnie Hanna into the ring. Ronnie Hanna out of the ring. Holy mackerel. We need some order. Both referees have been sitting. There'll be fines levied here. You can bet your bottom dollar. You don't hit an official. We need to get these guys apart. We need to get these guys apart. Signaling for the bell. We've rung the bell, but neither wrestler answering to the bell. If there's anybody listening in the dressing room, we could use a little help out here, please. As you see a series of them coming to the ring now. Try to get these two guys apart. Finally holding on to Tommy Siebel. Somebody better get a hold of Vince Torelli. Somebody better get a hold of Vince Torelli. They're going to keep these guys apart. Yeah, the Tennessee stunner Robert Fuller hanging on to a foot. I don't think he means to pull him apart. I think Fuller's trying to hold him. One more time, you see Vince Torelli charging in on Tommy Seabolt. Rustlers all over the place. Seabolt at the bottom of the pile. Tommy Seabolt at the bottom of the pile, and we just we need to get some kind of order here. Seabolt is just dove into the pile like a tackle. This thing is like a battle, like a war. And finally, it's the Tennessee stud Robert Fuller himself getting into the ring to try to break it apart, maybe just to direct the action. I don't know. They need to get these guys apart. Finally, we're getting a little bit of order here. It's about time.